Let's prepare a vitrectomy with the pharos. First, open the vit pack. Slightly tilt it. Grab the material, the bundle, and finally, the cassette bundle. Let's first install the cassette. You can do it either by yourself in sterile condition or you can ask your jumper to support you. We show you how to do it in sterile conditions. Ensure that the tubing here is freely maneuverable. Make like a U-shape turn with the tube. Insert the U in the first black part here. Pull the tubing backwards and insert the tubing into the second black part here. Release the tube. It's not sterile anymore. You don't have to touch it anymore. Then insert the cassette, slightly tilted. Press it down until you hear that clicking sound. And finally, insert the irrigation tube here. Pull it into the valve until you hear also a clicking sound. The cassette is installed. Hand over the infusion line. Connect the infusion line with the cassette system first. Remove the cover on the drop jam and put the drop chamber into the BSS bottle by holding the valve downside, downwards. Fill the drop chamber approx 50% and hang the bottle to the IV pole. Ensure that the valve is open. Hand over the drainage bag. Use the black hooks to attach the drainage bag. Ensure that the tubing is aiming upwards. And then connect the drainage bag with the blue connector. Here we go. Double check that the clamp is opened. Let's go ahead with the light instrument. Remove the wrap and take out the connector and then the handpiece. Be careful, avoid any damages or bendings on that part here. Also, remove the wiper and scrap the plastic. Connect the hand probe on the right hand side on the device. It is magnetic and be gentle with the fiber. Next the cutter. Remove the wrap take the handpiece out of its cover. Be careful 
don't bend or damage the cannula. Scrap the plastic. And connect the cutter according to the color coding, green and black. The green might appear in gray due to green screen technology. And use the VIT connectors here. Next step. The air delivery line with the three-way step cock. Out of box, the three-way step cock comes with all ports opened. An arm indicates an open port. We suggest turning it 180 degrees so the air line can be prepared and the irrigation line is already opened. Out from your trocar box, you use that short infusion line and connect it with the three-way step cock. And the final port you connect with the irrigation line from the cassette. The final step is the connection of the cutter with the aspiration line. On the device side, final step, connect the filter with the ear connector. For the pre-op, you have two options. Either you use the infusion line and the cutter directly inside of a small bin or whatsoever you have available on the table or you connect the irrigation line and the aspiration line directly and perform the pre-op in that condition. And press pre-op. Double check your vitrectomy settings and you're ready to go.